I mean, maybe one person who's watching this out of like for two know who this dude is. Oh well, normally I uh, I go I go in through the back. We could have we could have gone past there, but yeah, let's do it how it's intended. All right, so we'll talk to you in a second. First of all, be free. Thief's Ring. Become harder for enemies to detect. An ancient sapphire ring. It subdues your presence, making it difficult to be detected by enemies. Uh, the progenitor to hidden body, effectively, as is the spell cloak. This ring is pretty fucking godlike. That was a bold jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. So this is a Strava of Boletaria. That was a bold jump. A s well, now that you are... He has a cool sword and a cool shield. They give him that cool gold aura. We'll get those in 3-2. The second level of, of um, Tower of Latria. I feel like I have to say it like some pseudo like Romanian kind of accent. Some Eastern European kind of shit. You have a kind of place where it's like, we'll talk about the Transylvania. You know, something really fucking generic. Dude, Ostrava, calm the fuck down. Wait, do you just... Wait, hold on. If we don't talk to him, he doesn't move. Good, let's do this first. Hmm, doors. Wonder what's gonna happen. <gasps> Nani? Nani? What was that? Doors open, that's what. We can backstab that fuck. We'll do that in a sec. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. I'd say I like your vids, dude, but I never watched them. That's a dumb souls tuber joke. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. Why do I make jokes like that? I fucking hurt myself every time. It's like fucking double edge in Pokemon. I it, well actually no, Flare Blitz is probably a better analogy. I take fucking recoil when I make that those shitty fucking jokes. Ugh. Okay, so Estrava's gonna walk that way, which is good. So, you might be wondering why I'm being careful. I'm about to explain now, don't worry. Scimitar's pretty rad, I guess. Um, NPCs in this game, when they walk around. Uh, yeah, they can die. They can, uh, totally die. Estrava's very unlikely to die in this level, but you don't want to risk it. So what can happen is, Ostrava will wander around, and if you don't know about these areas, we'll get that in a sec, it's just some fucking grass, um, Ostrava will have to fight all these guys, and you might just find him dead. You'll get one of the, you'll get something he's carrying, but, oh, I was getting worried there. Man, I killed like five of them last night in one shot, it was pretty sick. Guess we're not doing that now. Okay. Yeah, aiming this is really fucking hard. It's not the best. Oh, the brass telescope sucks, by the way. If you watched my Tower, Tower of Latria video, where I just had the ambiance, you would have seen that shit. Hey, hard and sharp. Hard and sharp, like Tony Gregg. That was a cricket commentator. Brass telescope. A rare, cro a rare craft which uses warp glass to allow the... You know, fucking... I'll read it normally. Okay. It's pretty advanced for Boletaria, I guess. And that's about all you'll see of the telescope in this LP. You can see it's not quite the Binox. I think Estrava's already wandered off. Yeah, he's got a mind of his own. You know, it's nice NPCs have this kind of now agency. I must go. There is something for me to take care of. But, uh... This guy gets himself into some trouble. I mean, he's kind of proto air And yes, the frame rate was shit there. I don't know why. I hope that doesn't fuck up. I hope that's not what's causing the recording fuck-ups. I'm pretty sure it's, um... I've heard the menu on the PS3 is pretty fucky in general. Even with the PS4, it uses like a different resolution so that can fuck up your recording settings. So that might be what happened. But anyway, sorry. He's proto Solaire, effectively. No, we can't get down there. That kind of sucks. Oh, well, if we can see over the wall, maybe. I can point something else. HP recovery item. 
That long pathway over there, wall, Great Wall of China looking thing. Oh yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, the One Reborn lives over there, that's right. Hmm. Um, alright. I guess. Good thing these guys have collision turned off. So, fun fact. And this uh, relates to why I'm using a DualShock 4. My DualShock 3s, the PS3 controllers, are kind of shit. Um, I have one attached with a charge cable right now. Some weird shit will happen in regards to, um, or how it fucking works. So one day, I was trying to use it instead of this, because fuck it, and one of these guys hit me. The rumble activates, and due to some weird shit, I lose power. And it has to reconnect. And I get poked to death by these guys because it keeps fucking looping. It's... It was fucking infuriating. So that's kind of bad. So what's meant to be here is... We have to run across this bridge. It's quite a few guys. So I'll just demonstrate something. I take off a ring. He aggros. So... Thief ring is pretty fucking handy for this bridge. Because there are a bunch of crossbowmen at the back. Ah, oh, come on, guillotine axe. I'm not gonna get it. I'm at low luck. I've got no fucking art of discovery. Um, so yeah, this is the inspiration for all those times dragons fucking roast people on bridges and souls games. I should probably swap to the shield and sword, but I can't be fucked. Plus, if we are to, we just one shot it. So I'm planning of just giving it a sec. Serpentine. A lazy slow serpentine that too. Ow, fuck you, buddy. You want some? Suck us to the side. You, I know you hate my 98. You're gonna get yours. See, I quoted it fine, unlike Twilight Princess. I don't know why I started quoting Public Enemy in the Temple of Time, but... I don't know. Feels like there's some metaphor in there. Or, a, or an allegory or something. Something about how... I guess, in a way, Public Enemy is timeless. Oh, fuck, spin them. Oh, it's just one at least. As you can see, they're just running into my hits. So yeah, um... We should have made it to about here if we would have heard a flap, 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 flap. Then Red Dragon Fuckboy would have shown up, done his little woolly scream, and roasted the bridge. Um... Oh, speaking of screams, my cat is screaming outside the door. Damn, we had such a good run too. She's really desperate to get in. So, we'll do this. Um, I've got to go to that side path in a second. So, I'm going to heal up with my 37 so you can see how crazy this fucking healing gets. I have a lot of heals. We're going to grab this. It's just some... Yeah, it's just a soul. And I'm going to let this cutscene play. Also, yeah, the shadows are kind of fucked. That's what's going on. It, can, it freaked the hell out of me the other day. Well, yesterday. This is it. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. Enjoy the cutscene. So cutscene's over, and I'm now going to attempt to play while holding it. If I'm keeping this in, you can hear the floor of my plan already. I was going to hold the cat while I do this, but well, you know. So, while I'm attempting to soothe her because she's being a shit. Also, she threw up on my um, on my bed today, so that was a fucking great start to the day. It's what caused me to get up so early. Thank you, girl. I appreciate that. Anyway, enough about that dumb shit. Um, so, we unlocked the door to the boss. We could run back right now, but we are right near a shortcut. So you'd be insane to do that. Um, that mass of whatever the fuck that was threw a spear. <coughs> yes, it was a spear. Do you know which spear it was, girl? Can you tell the class? Can you? No? Then be quiet, please. The spear threw is the weapon you can make from its soul, known as the Scraping Spear. 
Sorry, I should have been running while I was talking, but I kind of had to deal with her. Um, scraping pier, uh, yeah, scraping pier, yeah, scraping spear is uh, well known as a notorious piece of shit. Um, so there's acid surge in the Souls games. Um, the one spell, one pyromancy, that will fuck up durability. Our uh, scraping spear does that every hit. There is a reason it didn't come back. Yeah, so thank you for explaining what I already said. <laughs> but still, it's, it's good you put that message there. So yeah, Blue Dragon to be here. Right now. Um, slap it in its tail round, being a shit. And then the Red Dragon and show up, do its little fucking woolly scream as I called it. And then, yeah. He'd it, be a dick. So you have to time it pretty well. So, here we go. Now, other than the cat doing that sound, I could hear a scratching. And boy, I hope that ain't the possum that lives in the roof sometimes. It seemed to have fucked off for like about a year, but now it's back. There's a safe place ahead. So yeah, what you do is, when you run and get the items, you grab what you can, you roll off a cliff and fall down here. There's an item at the end, so you know you might as well. Well, two items, rather. Shout of Artstone and Full Moon Grass. Was, was this the message? If only I had some friends. Yeah, I read that. So, let's look at what we got. Ring of Great Strength. A ring given to King Alance Twin Fangs, who were in the intro. There was Val Valifax, who left, and Beor. Hmm. Weird. Because Valifax leaves, and, spoiler, Beor is alive, and we'll find him much later much much later so maybe it's implied valifax came back and died to the dragon or maybe just he gave it to someone when he left it, it's soul's law like who fucking knows so more importantly you be quiet um the twin fang Beor wielded a massive steel shield a large crossbow and a huge sword with ease so if we try to equip this you will see we double in equip burden so, this is Havel's Ring. Well, we don't double. What am I saying? It's 1.5. That's Havel's Ring. You know Havel, don't you, girl? Do you remember who Havel is? Do you remember who Havel is? He's the guy who bugs out and stands there and gets Shane backstabbed. He's the guy my friend couldn't beat on that stream the other night. Uh, I've got a mate named Fur well, who goes by Fergo online. He's starting to do some Dark Souls streams and some other shit. He's he streamed Magic mostly, I think. Magic the Gathering. Um, what a fucking nerd, am I right? Haha. <laughs> anyway, back to Demon Souls. Um, like I was saying, I co-opted with some Dark Souls three shit with him the other night. Um, I beat Nameless King first try on my file. I was not streaming because fuck NBN in a house with eight people. Yeah, Australian internet is notoriously shit. It's good he can stream. So, after being Nameless King, I then caught with him, and we beat Nameless King first try. To be honest, like, he's, he's not bad, but it's the fact that I've had some practice with Nameless King, who, in my opinion, is one of the best bosses in 3. Fight me, nerds. He's better than Soul of Cinder. You remember Soul of Cinder, don't you, girl? She's, he's the boss I fucking got really mad over. You remember Soul of Cinder? You see, Soul of Cinder, I don't care about because I've never fought Gwyn. So I don't get emotional when I hear the, I hear the plin plin plon. Because I'm a heretic. And also because I never get far enough in Dark Souls 1 and I never want my file to be reset because fucking add the new game option, you bastards. So there should be two guys coming. There we go. Anyway, moral of the story. Um, Nameless King's fucking awesome. But my friend, uh, my friend was fighting... Uh, in our Dragon Peak and various other places the other night, we were using save files we played like, what, like six months ago or something? Um, there's a firebomb guy behind me, by the way, so... He's quite content to stay there. My face is fucking weird. Um, yeah, insert your Plinket reference now. Um, but yeah, uh... Ice Dragon Peak. It took him a few times to beat Havel. I don't blame him. Havel is a fuck. And what was he using at the time? I don't remember the weapon. Was he using the Great Axe? I was using my, um, you know, my Black Knight Great Hammer, known as the Spiked Mace. I fucking love that weapon so much. 
There's so many cool little mini combos. Um, but yeah, Havel fucked him up. That was the tangent I went on. Thank you for humoring me. Hey dude. Sup. We can't get past him, he's kind of a shit right now. So, this is a hop... Hel how do you pronounce it? Hop Hopolite or whatever? Fucking shield formation guys in armies. So, his spear has a weird hitbox. Ah, huh, surprise. Weird hitboxes in Souls. Weird hitboxes in Souls games. Am I right, fellow gamers? <laughs> ah, fucking kill me. Anyway, um, you don't want to be standing behind him because you'll get hit by that shit. This is it. What is it? That's it. What is it? Anyway. Um, now we're done quoting Epic. Um, welcome to the land of sunshine, motherfucker. We got a large shard. That's some good shit. So, we're almost there. I'll read that shit when we're down. There is one more, and I... I don't think there's a Dregling down here, is there? No. So, yeah, standing behind him is a bad idea. As you notice, hitting the shield... Ah, uh, kind of shit. Yes, it is. You know this, you've watched me play this game before, cat. Yeah, that's weird. That's like the fucking cat... That's like the catacombs of Carthus Lever, where you fucking teleport on top of it. Um... Yeah, so that's a big thing. You might have noticed with these little guys. Um, hitting him on the shield. Kind of shit. Hey, look at all the destruction we caused. Um, hitting them on the fleshy part. Or the oozy part. The smooth, if you like. Pretty pretty solid. Um, before we go to the boss, I didn't check the scimitar. Slashing weapon inflicts heavy damage. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Causes bleeding with enough hits. Mm, yeah. It's so-so. And here we go. Purple flame shield. An old large shield painted in vivid purple. It's quite heavy and very effective against flame. The origin of its characteristic design is unknown. This equipment holds many mysteries. I don't know why I read it like that. Like that one fucking high-owned coffee professor from Ruby. Yeah. Why do I fucking reference that show so much? I, for someone who gave up on it, I don't know why. Um... Yeah, fucking Ublek. Why the fuck do I remember that? Anyway, 22 um, strength to wield. You'll see, magic resist is 30. I think the fire resist is what? Like 70 or 80. It's pr pretty fucking rad. Meanwhile, over here, ring of flame resistance. So, when you think about it, huh, you get this, you get this, and you get the shield from a guy, from guys who were trying to fight dragons. Huh. So, a soft ring bearing a deep red seal increases defense against fire. Made by Jerry or Gary, I don't know. A friend of Sage Freak. <gasps> he was in the intro. I know Sage Freak. Um, he's got the, uh, well, rather his armor. You'll see him eventually, but Sage Freak wears a set that they use in, um, the, the Ivory King DLC again. Um, or the North Water set. It's pretty cool if they carried that over. Anyway, um, handicrafts, magical handicrafts. You'll notice our fire resist goes up by 40. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, not important right now. So, for various reasons, I won't be completing all of that area. Um, you'll see why. I'll cow it out pretty quickly, and I think you'll understand why. So, that glowing thing we could see, you can make it out behind the uh, gallows. Also, yeah, atmosphere. You can see why this game's renowned for it. Look how fucked this place is. It's got the really shitty overcast sky. It's got this fucking, what's it called? Brutalist architecture. Which is something I'm hoping the remake captures again. Because, boy, it looks like Lothric Castle again in those screenshots. It makes me kind of nervous. But, like, look. You've got this fucking shitty sky. You've got all, all this fucking execution area. You've got this giant execution area. You've got all these fucking battlements, all this fire. Look how fucked this place is. It's awesome. I love it. It's so good. Um, anyway, sorry. That glow. That's a crystal lizard. That's what they look like in the beta version of Dark Souls 1. Or rather, it, they're in the files. You can see it. Um, so some cool shit's going to happen. If you've ever actually been grave, um, grave lorded in New Game Plus, you'll know there's black phantoms in Dark Souls 1. Red enemies that are way harder. When we run ahead to hit that crystal lizard, um, they're gonna teleport in. So I gotta do this fast because they're gonna fucking murk me. 
All right, here we go. Now, if the lock-on will not fuck me... Oh, shit. All right, great. So I can talk about that. So crystal lizards are weird in this game. Also, this appears to be a dead... Oh, no, we can go around. Haha, -ha, suck it. Crystal lizards are weird in this game. And kind of bullshit. You miss out on them? Well, they're gone. Um, every time you beat a boss, creates a respawn for them. So you have a potential of, hit, of getting them four times over. As you can see, due to the lock-on, which I shouldn't have even tried because I fucking knew that would happen. Also, yeah, we do nothing against these guys. We do something, it's just a lot less than the other dragglings. You're meant to come here later. Um, yeah, because of the lock-on, we missed it. If I go beat the boss up there, I'm pretty sure we have to leave. Um, but that'll cause it to respawn. Um, yeah, these guys... The crystal lizards in this game are a good source of the equivalent of slabs. So you don't want to be missing them like I did. Um, in the earlier areas though, they only give like what? Um, the shards. So I don't think that lizard drops anything too important. Speaking of which, given I think we killed all the dreglings, let's have a look. What are you? It is. Again, look how fucked this place is. It's pretty shit. Yeah, okay, yeah, we got him. Um, some more are gonna spawn ahead, so let's just wait a sec. Alright, here we go. Shard of Heart Zone. A shard of hard ore. Enhances straight swords, axes, hammers, and so on. So basically, anything that lead, leans more to strength, you use hard zone to upgrade. Um, a basic ore that will evenly increase the power of a weapon. Weapons can be strengthened by hard zone up to a maximum level of 10. So that's where you get plus 10 weapons. Sharp stone is the dex equivalent. Um, just think of them, they're titanite. They're titanite for strength, titanite for dex. You can see why they just changed it to titanite for the most part. Ignoring shit like demon titanite and twinkling and all that. Yeah. So curved swords, daggers, spears, and so on. The upgrade tree is fucking weird in this game. So large... Um, shard uh, sharp is yeah the uh, for the large shards. You can't climb up in this. That's something I wanted to talk about with Estrava. So you notice there's a climbing mechanic in this game, but never came back. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Okay, fuck you guys. We gotta back up. Ooh, that could have been really bad. I would have got, I could have got stun locked potentially. Yeah. So this is like if I was, I should be treating this like Dark Souls, where I try to play unlocked. I feel like you don't need to do it nearly as much in this game, and I'm pretty confident playing Locked, but Unlocked is good for situations like this. I don't think I showed this off nearly that much in Bloodborne, because the game's pretty good at multi-targeting enemies, or rather giving you the capacity to fight more than one enemy at once. But yeah, I'm, I love doing that shit with Halberds, that's why I love them so much. You just fight Unlocked with them. That's why I love the Wing Knight Halberd so much. And the Gargoyle Halberd. And Sandy has Spear. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> oh, fuck you, buddy. So. Man Eater and Mildred, eh? This is the prototype. We are having some trouble locking on. Holy fuck. Yeah, you can see why I'm not going to fight her. Okay, quick. We need some dialogue so I can cow it out. Alright, talk to me. So, this is Executioner Meralda. Um, you can understand why we are finding her here. Fucking Christ. So, she's using the Guillotine Axe. A pretty cool axe that I like a lot. I like axes in general. I wish they were better in these games. There's a cool ring she drops too that benefits axes. We are not going to beat her. We're doing fuck all, and she's doing, like, three-fifths of our health. Shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just wanted her to talk, but she's clearly not going to co-op, cooperate. So we're getting the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ, she probably aggroes very far. I hope she doesn't, like, fall off anything. Well, I'm just going to make sure she uh, doesn't kill herself. So, keep in mind, during all this, we could have gone back to speak to Baldwin, and we could have upgraded our weapons, but, no. 
So, Stealth is actually pretty similar to Dark Souls 1 in this regard. We're not going to be able to backstab her because she's walking a bit too fast for us. But, there are some cool mechanics in regards to how weapons are held. Okay. Fiefering is definitely helping. Okay, as you can see, we could just lame her out. I kind of want her now just to get all of this shit early. Um, I've got a, f a female character who's pretty far through the game. And I've got majority, if not all, of the female armor sets on her. So eventually I'll just boot up that file and I'll do like a little fashion show, I guess. So yeah, this is how you beat some of the NPCs. It's kind of fucking lame. Oh shit. Fuck you, Miralda. So yeah, again, that's what I was saying. No real points exist in this game. So it becomes a lot of this. Um, this is kind of like if you want to cheese Simon in um, Bloodborne. You uh, lure, you aggro him, and you kind of bait the backstab. Using viscerals and shit. Um, he was the guy that gave us Simon's bow blade when he died. You can kill him right at the start when I was having that little chat to him right before the bonfire shot. The lantern shortcut. So we can do this. It's just kind of lame. So... Her armor is the stuff I was talking about. Or the set I was talking about that I think is probably one of the better sets for like PvP because of weight ratio. It's the binded cross set. It's pretty fucking sick as you can see. Um, again, female only, which sucks. Um, they put it in that Cinder's mod I keep talking about, so that's cool. You know what? Let's try this. I'm gonna get hit and die if I can know it. Let's try the Scimitar, because we don't quite have Dark Souls um, stun lock, but we can bleed her out using it. Oh my god. No, you fucking don't. We're gonna bleed it out, dig it deeper just to throw it away. Here we go for the hundredth time. Um, hand grenade pins in every line. Throw it up and let something shine. Going out of my fucking mind. That's about right, right? Why aren't you talking, Moralda? You meant to talk to you meant to tell me for how I'm a traitor a wretched traitor to the king. And this sucks, I'm sorry, I didn't get any of the dialogue and I don't know why. She'll say something upon death, right? Well that sucked. We didn't get any of the cool shit. Yes, yeah, so the binded set. Alright. I'm sorry we didn't get dialogue. That fucking sucks. I wasn't expecting to beat her. A pointed hood which covers the entire head. It's made of leather and scraps of cloth. The leather straps are, are wrapped around the neck. In Boletaria, they were worn by executioners, especially Executioner Meralda, who is known for her lunacy and beautiful voice that you guys didn't fucking hear outside of those few laughs. Um, I hope I cut that. I just had a big cough. Alright, so let's look through the rest of the set. It'll be about the same. Boy, it's such a cool set. I'm... See, like, look, we've got two female sets that we can't fucking touch. So, um, straps. Um, wrapped around for width and breadth. Um, it'll save the same kind of shit. Around the arms, and it'll save the legs. Yeah. Oh, man, that's lame. That's lame we didn't get a dialogue, it's pretty cool. I, I'd like to suggest I might, um... Well, I'm going back to Bastard Sword. I might... Get her on camera with a different character, but... I don't know. I think I've killed her with all the characters I've currently got. Anyway. This thing... I wish came back. It's not what you think it is. So, I need to explain this once I finish it. A ring made of straw rope. Damage from direct hits increase while damage from all other attacks decreases. A ring from a faraway land known for its sword smithing. Said to be imbued with a distinct spell. So, excuse me, I'm taking a little sip. That's some good water. I've been talking for over two hours, so this is getting fucking long in two. So, this is not the Leo ring. This is not counter damage. This is... I. This is for axes and hammers um more so axes i would say i don't know if it works for the great hammers which are what two weapons um brand and the giant club 
Um, there's more axes in this game, though. Um, yeah, it's pretty sick. It's a cool little concept, so if you, um... It's, it's a whole spacing kind of concept they kind of, um, expanded upon in Dark Souls 2. Where, um, certain parts of, like, halberds and spears did more or less damage and all that kind of stuff. That kind of existed in one, but, yeah. Speaking of spears... Also, this fucking music. So, this gives me some good shit to talk about. Phalanx. Um, a lot easier than Vanguard. So, you can just hit, so the center, mo uh, the center mass, the glowing thing, is the phalanx. That's the boss. All these guys, not really, you don't need to worry about them too much, but you've got to trim down the herd just to get in. So, as you saw, they drop upgrade materials, and their masks, shields, fly. That was fucking strange. Um... This music is fucking sick. This boss is really cool. This... Okay, so this game, and this might be controversial. People might know, this game um, has a lot more bosses that aren't just straight up fights, like say Artori or, or Gale, or even like... Um, Rame, I guess. These, boss these bosses are more akin to, I guess, Zelda, where there's like a puzzle or something. So in this case, Phalanx, you have to, oh, that's a good thing, that's lovely. You have to thin out the herd to get a good shot at her. And yes, it's a herd, we'll talk about that after I beat it. So, Dragon God, who you would have seen in that clip when I lost it, when I beat Vanguard. Fighting him is weird and people don't like it. I kind of like it for its weirdness, I'll explain that when we get there proper. But despite being this cool badass dragon that punches you, you don't fight him in the way you'd think. It is legitimately a puzzle. There's an enemy called the old hero later on, who is blind. Um, we're not fighting him for like quite a while. So his fight is based around minimizing your sound. Um, the boss before him, the adjudicator, can only be hurt in one place, and before that you have to knock it, you have to hit its weak point to expose its um, more part you can hit, which is a crown holding a bird. Yeah, it's kind of fucking weird. So all these bosses, save for a few, are all puzzles. So here we go, let's just demonstrate. Um, it's worth killing these guys, so because look, we're getting Titanite effectively, and we're getting souls. So you can hack away at these guys. But I coming off the back of well, how I played the games, being DS1 um Preventa Die Edition on the PC, to Dark Souls 3, to 2, to Bloodborne to this. I kind of enjoy how weird these bosses are, because I've expressed the fact that Freed and Gale are good, I don't really care about them as characters or bosses. Artorius had all that good build up and I kind of get why that's, you know, Gale and Freed couldn't get that treatment, they're fucking DLC characters. But I just, Gale was awesome, Gale was guts from Berserk. But I don't have that emotional attachment. And Freed, I just suck at Freed. That's why I don't like it, let's be honest. Um, but towards the end of Freed, you definitely get that feeling of, yeah. And it's not, I wouldn't blame FromSoft, but the game definitely got a little up its own ass about the difficulty shit. Now, as you can see, that boss isn't hard. It's also because I'm pretty decent at this game. I guess. And I played all of them. So, you know, lots of practice. But, I really don't mind bosses that just aren't that hard. Like, it's okay to have Taurus Demon. It's okay to have Last Giant. Like, uh, Taurus Demon, I think I died twice against, right? I died about ten times on the way to Taurus Demon. I kind of feel like that's what Souls games need more of. Because there's shit like the Royal Rat Authority, which honestly, yeah, it's not a great boss. The bonfire's right there outside it. The bonfire's right outside the fight with Gale and with Freed. But that's because they're like hard bosses. I kind of wish this game went for games went more for this. Where you saw we fucking spend an hour going through this giant level. I fought it like a little mini boss NPC. I died. I didn't die here. I like dying in the level. 
It's okay if bosses aren't hard. They don't need to be that hard. I like exploration. I don't need the up its own ass in terms of difficulty. Anyway, tirade over. Phalanx is fucking rad. Simple boss fight, not really that hard. Um, th the game is giving you fire. I've got fire bombs. The magician starts with fireball. We got turpentine. That guy is weak as fuck to fire. You will hit very hard through the shields with fire. So it's giving you all the tools and it's teaching you the mechanics. You fight three of those guys on the way down the staircase. And you realize, oh shit, hitting it from the front doesn't work. Then you hit him from the back. And then you have to deal with the literal phalanx formation. It's pretty fucking rad. Oh, that's another cough I probably cut. So, I came back because I didn't talk about this. This is the scraping spear we make from the boss soul. The thing I was saying about, like, fuck your durability. Um, only works against NPC characters, NPC characters like Merelda who we fought. There's only one where it's really ever gonna matter, and I'm not gonna kill him like that. Yes, it's that one in the boss fight, you know who I mean if you played the game. Um, one thing you might notice, and maybe you don't, I don't fucking know. This is what the Giant Archer in Dark Souls 3 shoots. He shoots the scraping spears effectively. It's like a better version of a model, but that's effectively what he's shooting. Look, it could be goes out a, a goth arrow, but I don't know. I kind of just see him as a scraping spear. So if we want, we beat the boss, we're in human form. We're, uh, we're in embered mode, which means we're open to co-op, invasions, etc. So, we could just keep going. So I chuck the armor so I can't really do much, so, oh well. Um, I don't know if we'll be suiciding when we get back to the Nexus. Well, that'll be next episode, or in between. So, we can immediately go into 1-2 if we like. Let's just pick our head in and have a little look. So, if our world tendency was not at pure white to begin with, so you'll see these guys are taking more damage already. Um, yeah. They've got more health. Um, yeah. If we weren't at pure white already, we would have been bumped up towards white. If you go through an entire world without dying, um, and it's on normal, just neutral tendency, you will get to pure white. Which is generally what you want to do, because it's way easier to just get to the black. What black tendency is resulted from is killing yourself. I kind of mentioned this earlier. Yes, there's a few of these guys around us. we got to be a little careful. Oh, frame rate. Holy fuck. Um, but yeah. What you do is you go back to the Nexus, you suicide. That's that blood stain we saw um, in part two. Again, boy, I hope I'm cutting this up because that's what I'm going to be fucking doing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nasty guy. <laughs> ah, true, but you don't need to be so mean about it. Ah, caught you unaware. So what you do typically is, you go to, you beat a boss. Oh, fucking cr What is with this spot? Holy shit, man. Hope that doesn't fuck the recording too, too much. You um, beat the boss, walk back to the Nexus, suicide, go to your next world. Um, you beat all bosses, you get your pure white. Hey, Someone's here. Shield and spear. Cool. I like you. Um, and then you come back once you beat the final, the final boss of the world. In this case, that would be the king. Spoiler. Whatever. Doesn't fucking matter. Um, <laughs> uh, that's not enough to really give you too much context. But we do that. We would unlock all the tendency based events. I mean, hell, we don't actually need to go to the king for this world. But whatever. Doesn't fucking matter. Sorry, I'm getting off track. Um, you beat the boss, you beat the end boss, you come back, you off yourself three times in a level in human. Which, yeah, it's kind of a waste of resources, but whatever. And then you can do all the pure black events. So we'll maybe be doing that, I'm not quite sure. We can change with the messages Hello. so it's easier. You yonder! Over here! It's me, Ostrava! Look at me. Again surrounded by evil warriors. Could you... Perhaps, help me one last time? Clear out the soldiers at the far end of this passage, if it pleases you. The Lord's Path, just down yonder, has degenerated into a feeding ground for flying dragons. Have your wits about you. So this is the kind of thing I like. 
Um, not the fact he's stuck. The fact that we found an NPC and he, oh Christ, and he, yeah, caused bad frame rate. He gave us a bit of information about the world. So, this is as far as I'm going. I just want to show this. This is that path we could see, and I made the shitty joke about, oh, well, we, we could come here. Where are you? There you are, you fuck. Come on, show it off. Let's get this done. I'm going to back up just in case, but he can't hit me from here. No, wait, we got to run out. Yeah. So, you'll see, the way he circles past will demonstrate if he's going to do... Yep, there we go. There's the, there's the fucking woolly sound. So, yeah, um... He does that. We'll come back later. Hmm. Oh, fucking Christ, the frame rate. I feel like there should be one more enemy here, but we didn't kill. <laughs> That's the joke I made last night, yeah. I was, uh, there was a different message on the horse, but um, I was just thinking about like, oh, boy, that'd feel like a DS2 style message. Oh. I mean, there's only one horse, technically two, in all of DS2, but man... I love that horse is one of the message, uh, message words. Alright, so that is 1-1. One, one. We have beaten Mushroom Kingdom 1-1. One, one. Um, you're seeing a guy named Yurt the Silent Chief. He's got a shodel. Um, yeah. It's same from Dark Souls 1 and 2 and 3. That's pretty cool. Yurt's a pretty cool guy. He's, he's actually quite helpful. Um, he shows up in the second world of Latria, um... I'm not going to rush out again, but like it'll be handy when we have him. He, he employs a good service that we want to use as fast as we can. But it's not bad. We, we don't need to worry too much. Welcome back.